this is a, an excellent example of, of local <coughs> cross-local authority uh, collaboration, uh, which is going to be more and more important in the uh, post-RDA uh, world, and uh, not just post-RDA, but when we have a world which is, uh, has far fewer intermediate uh, tier organisations in it. Um, and in particular, I'd like to commend the work of the Southwest uh, Observatory as a body that can help uh, facilitate and carry out that cross-local authority uh, work. I mean, the, the, the thing about the observatory is that it's, it's owned by its users. Um, it provides impartial, focused intelligence on whatever it's looking at. Uh, and, uh, as I said, it's a good focus for bringing uh, local authorities Today, together. Today, to really focus on one particular project that the observatory has been doing in partnership with local authorities in the region. And I think it's an excellent project, really, to demonstrate the type of work that the observatory can do, uh, both now and in the future. And as John was saying, I think there's going to be a great onus in the future on making sure that we use our resources effectively. Uh, we build ministers have very strong views about... Uh, the future of uh, uh, the country and in terms of the relationship between um, central government action and uh, uh, local government. Um, and uh, Eric Pickles, our Secretary of State, um, has three very uh, important, three basic priorities you set out. Those are localism, localism, and localism. So, in terms of the new local economic uh, development landscape, uh, as I said, the solution is local. Um, the government wants to uh, create new powers and incentives for uh, localities, for local authorities and their partners uh, to focus on their own, their own local economic priorities rather than national targets. Uh, and to deliver on this, um, the, 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 the three proposals, the key proposals, uh, the establishment of local enterprise partnerships, the partnership between local authorities and local businesses, uh, the establishment of a new regional growth fund, which will support uh, uh, the move from uh, support areas become too dependent on the public sector as they uh, move towards um, strengthening uh, the private sector and uh, also in order to help support uh, this initiative um, their aim is to um, create new uh, incentives for local authorities to increase local speed uh, in terms of uh, local economic assessments. Um, as John said, I think with these announcements it's pretty clear that local economic development um, you know, it's going to continue to be a priority for local authorities and their partners. Um, and um, in the context of establishing local enterprise partnerships, there's going to be an increasing need uh, for a robust local economic evidence base uh, to underpin strategies. Um, and uh, given the emphasis on localism and local solutions to economic challenges and opportunities, um, the <coughs> should increasingly reflect local economic priorities rather than um, national priorities or, or, or target set. Uh, nationally or regionally. Um, and also, our expectation is that the assessments will be uh, expected to inform discussions uh, over the coming weeks and amongst over the establishment of uh, local enterprise partnerships and indeed longer term yeah, around local enterprise partnerships that reflect an actual uh, economic uh, geography, uh, they're not constrained by, constrained by local authority boundaries, uh, that local authorities should continue to, to work with their noble authorities and developing. Uh, local legal assessments, and a lot of work has been done on that, of collaboration amongst local authorities, both um, uh, within their immediate area and also regionally, um, and you know, there's some key challenges here for local authorities. Um, obviously it's important that local authorities take stock of the government's emerging agenda uh, on uh, uh, economic development and subnational growth. Um, although the emphasis is obviously localism, it's important that you want to have a clear understanding of, of this emerging, emerging agenda. Uh, but, you know, don't use <coughs> the fact that it is your assessment, um, you know, this assessment for you uh, and your partners to drive forward economic growth locally. Um, it's not an assessment which is, you know, for central government or, or a bidding document. It really is, uh, you know, it needs to be an honest assessment of your uh, economy strengths and weaknesses uh, and also an understanding of the wider links with uh, the links your area has to the wider economy. So it really needs to be driven by a clear understanding of where and on what the opportunities are uh, in terms of the living The aim of my post is to help with consistency, comparability, um, coordination, and, and, and where possible, and what we've actually managed to do in the South West is, is sort of some <coughs> joint, joint commissioning um, process, uh, from the CLG guidance, and also just co common sense. There's going to be a number of themes which everyone is going to include in their local economic assessment. 
um, standard things on economic development or housing or skills. Um, I'm kind of realised with local authorities that if everyone is going to be using some of the same information, where practical, where practical to do so and um, not removing local flexibility, it may be useful to say, well, if you're going to look at population, can you use this data source and look at it from this time period using um, March 2010 data, market market areas uh, across the southwest. Um, this commission was 15 local authorities, um, Southwest Regional Development Agency, and the Southwest Councils. Um, so a, a large partnership working project um, with. With, with the, the outcome that only came out a couple of weeks ago, which is the GIS mapping tool, which is available on CD, a report which accompanies data sets. The idea of the tool is not to tell people uh, what the answer is, but to provide information so that people can draw their own conclusions and make their own opinions. But everyone is then at least, again, working from a consistent evidence base to do so.